Hey, Jason from Theme Punch here. So one of the really cool things about Slider Revolution is that all of the online demos that you see are also available to you as a customer. So for example, once you install the plugin and you head over to Add Slider from Template, all of the demos are available here for you to import and use however you like. All of the images, graphics, videos are also royalty free, so you can use them freely in your projects. So one thing that's common is importing an entire slider, but today I'm going to show you how you can import an individual slide and also an individual layer. So for example, let's say that you're looking at all of the online examples, and you find a particular slide inside a slider that you want to use, but maybe you don't want to use the entire slider, or maybe you just want to use a particular element of a slider, for example, this burger menu here we could go ahead and import that as a layer. So let's go ahead and do this. So first thing we want to do is from the Slider Revolution main plugins page, let's go ahead and import one of the template sliders. So I'll go ahead and click Add Slider from Template, and then inside the Slider Template Library, we can find the template that we want to use, and in this case it's Web Product Lite and just to make sure that it's the correct template I can click the magnifying glass and yes that's correct and then click the plus icon and then install slider and because I've registered my plugin and activated my purchase code I can use the online option here so I'm just going to import it from the theme punch servers okay so we've got the template imported and we can preview it very quickly and we can see we've got the template right here. So let's go ahead and create our own slider and then import maybe the second slide from this slider, which is this is variety. So to do that, I'm going to create a new slider and I'm going to name it my slider with a slug of my slider. It's also going to be a full screen slider, so I'm going to select that, but of course it could be whatever you want. Auto, full width, whatever your project calls for. And then for the layers grid size, I think it would probably be best to just mimic whatever the layers grid size is for the other sliders. Let's see what that is for the web product light and it's 1400 by 868 1400 868 there we go and I'm also going to mimic the other layer grid sizes so we have a custom grid size for all of them and that's 1240 768 so I'm going to turn that on 1240 768 778 960 there we go. And 48720. So what this will do is it'll allow us to import this slide. And because the demo was already created by our expert designer, it's going to be automatically responsive across all devices and especially because we entered the same exact values. So for example, for our original template, if we head over to the slide editor, and we were to click between the different viewports here, we can see that our designer went ahead and set up the content perfectly for the different viewport sizes. And the viewport sizes are these layer grid sizes here. So once I've gone ahead and done that, I'm going to save the slider that will officially create a new slider. And next, from Add Slide, let's choose Add from Template, and here you can see a huge list of slides that are available that you can import from all of the demos. Now the list is quite long, but because we went ahead and imported that slider template, it makes it really easy for us to find the slide that we want just by clicking local slides. And now I can see that it's the second slide here, which is examples. I'm going to click the plus icon and then click OK. 
And then if we click Examples, we can see that that slide is now imported to our My Slider and we can go ahead and delete the original slide which was just a blank slide to begin with and now what we've done is we've imported the second slide from that template into our own slider now we can use that however we want so let's go ahead and see this in action real quick so I'm just going to save and then head over to pages And here we have Web Product Lite, which is the original template, and then my slider. Add it to the page. Publish. Let's view it from the front end. And here we go. We have our slider. And we can see it's full screen. Now, it doesn't really fit that well inside our 2016 template, as you can see here. So I've actually created a child theme for 2016 and I'll share this with you guys so you can use it if you want from appearance just gonna activate my 2016 child theme and then head back to pages head back to my test page and I'm going to choose full screen template and now this should look a lot better here we go. We have no scroll bars, we have no other content on the page, and our slide is looking nice. So as you can see, we have these images here fade out, and I actually want them to stay on the screen. So let's go ahead and make a change for that real quick. So what we're going to do is head into my slider, Edit Slides. And right down here at the bottom, we can see that some of these layers are meant to fade out before the slide actually ends. So to fix that, we can just click the button here. This will snap it to the end of the timeline and make sure that that content never disappears before the slide actually changes. So I'm going to do that for all three of those images. MacBook, iPad, iPhone and those are these right here and then save the slide and let's go ahead and test it again and now this content should always stay on the screen and never disappear we have this really cool hover effect here and we should also be able to go ahead and as you can see our designer has modified the content so it fits nicely on different screen sizes. And that's all done right up here. Just like that. Just resizing and adjusting the position of the content for the different screen sizes here. Okay, so the next thing we wanted to do was import the burger menu. So to do that, we're going to import a particular layer. So, the burger menu is actually inside the static layers. And as we add slides to our slider here, we want the menu to stay on top of all the slides at all times. So let's take a look at the original example here. And you can see that as the slides change, this burger menu here is always visible. And the reason why is because this content here is on the static layers slide. So let's visit the static layers slide. And you can do that from within your slide editor. Click on static global layers. And once we're in here, we could pick a slide to use as a backdrop. And basically what this does is it just shows how these static layers would look against any particular slide. So I'm going to just leave it blank for now. And scroll down to Add Layer. And then I'm going to choose this Import option here. So then it gives me the option to select a slider. 
So Web Product Light is the original template. I'm going to select that. And then you can see here we have Menu Burger. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Import Selected Layer. Yes. Import All Connected Layers. OK. And you can see all connected layers have been added to the stage, which basically means the entire menu has now been added to the static layers slide. Now, because of the size of this video screencast here, it's a little bit smaller. And so if I just scroll over here, we should be able to see it right at the top right here. Isn't that fantastic? So we've just gone ahead and imported the burger menu from the web product light slider into our own slider. And of course I can go ahead and change the text here to anything I want. So I could change examples to, let's just say maybe slide 2. And here you go, we have slide 2. Now these are also connected to different slides. So if we were to see um, the actions for slide 2, you could see the action is jump to slide, slide examples. So the problem here is we only have one slide. And so we need to add some additional slides, of course, because otherwise we wouldn't need a menu. So as I build my slider and add additional slides, I'm going to make sure that each of these items has an action with a jump to slide to whatever slide I want it to go to. So I'm going to click Save here, and let's head back to our example, which is, is on our local host using the 2016 child theme. And here we can see we have a burger menu. Now it's a little bit off here, and let's fix that. So let's head back to Slider Revolution. Let's choose this icon here and then let's head up to behavior and let's set child elements responsive to off and also set auto responsive to off and let's do the same for our menu layers as well so I'm going to turn all of these auto responsive off and because this menu is going to fit on all screens including a phone we really don't need to resize this content here. So I've saved the slide. Now I'm going to reload the page. And here is our beautiful burger menu. We can see we have our options. And of course, once we add more slides, we'll be able to navigate to those. So here we've successfully imported a slide from one of the templates. And we've also imported a burger menu from one of the templates. So I uh, hope this helps you with your project, and good luck with your slider. Thanks for watching.